Hi everyone, I'm Max. I'm a statistician and PhD candidate in the School of Mathematical Sciences here at the University of Adelaide. Jono and Lewis are actually my supervisors, so I know exactly how evil they can be. As we've just seen, sometimes we want to know how good a model is at explaining the relationship between variables. When we want to know about how good our model is at explaining relationships, we can use information criteria. Two popular criteria are AIC and BIC. I'll introduce both, but in general, you can use either. Suppose we have some data, x, comprising n observations, and we build a model m from this data. Our model has k parameters, and our best guess for the value of these parameters is theta hat, the maximum likelihood estimate. AIC is a Kaikes information criterion, developed by the famous Japanese statistician Hirotugu Akaike. We can define AIC as AIC equals 2k minus 2 log l hat, where log is the natural logarithm and L hat is the probability of observing x given theta hat and m. L hat is a measure of goodness of fit. We can break AIC down into two parts. First, 2k increases as we increase the number of parameters in our model. This penalises us for building models that are complicated. The second term, minus 2 log L hat, decreases as our model gets better at explaining our data. This rewards us for building models that fit our data well. BIC is the Bayesian information criterion, developed by Gideon E. Schwartz. We can define BIC as BIC equals k log n minus 2 log L hat, where log is the natural logarithm and L hat is the same measure of goodness of fit as in AIC. Like AIC, we can break BIC down into two parts. First, k log n increases as we increase the number of parameters in our model, but also as the number of observations in our data increases. This penalises us for building models that are complicated with a larger penalty when working with a large amount of data. Unsurprisingly, 2 log L hat behaves exactly as in AIC, rewarding us for building models that fit our data well. Both AIC and BIC are designed to help us strike a balance between models that are complex and models that are good at explaining our data. You might start with a very simple model and add parameters to it. As you add more parameters, your model will get better at explaining your data, but it will also become more complex. Often, you'll reach a tipping point where the benefits of increasing explanatory power by adding a new parameter are offset by the increase in model complexity. You could also start with a very complex model and remove parameters. As you remove parameters, your model will get simpler, but also explain your data less well. Again, you'll often reach a tipping point, where the benefits of decreasing model complexity by removing a parameter will be offset by the loss in explanatory power. When it comes to AIC and BIC, the smaller the better. We prefer models that minimise AIC and or BIC. It's important to note that AIC and BIC cannot tell you how well a particular model explains your data. They can only tell you if it strikes a better balance between model complexity and explanatory power than other models do. Now, let's see AIC and BIC in action using R. 